old guy in Colorado. Doodah. Old guy is here. Homages to Mrs. Old Guy. Um, so, I'm going to make some gyros, but a little bit differently. First of all, I'm only going to use beef. Um, not everybody likes lamb, so but I'm going to use beef and a little bit of bacon too. So, I'm going to start. Mrs. Old Guy, come on down here. I've got half of an onion. Now, I really don't like it when recipes say, oh, half an onion, because we could be tough. Somebody might have an onion that big. Somebody might have an onion that big. So I like to weigh, weigh out, you know, and, and get an, a, a better control of that. So this is about six ounces. So between five and six ounces of onion is what you're going to want. If you want to take the time to uh, weigh it. All right, so just cut that in quarters. Just follow me over here, Mrs. Old Guy. I'm gonna put this into a food processor, and I'm gonna puree this out. So, um, just come on real close, Mrs. Old Guy, and we'll be right back. All right, and there we have it. It's been pulsed out pretty good. And now, you want to drain it. So get yourself a little kitchen strainer here. There. You're going to want that to sit for about 30 minutes and let the juice drain out. Okay, so we'll be back in 30 minutes. It's been roughly 30 minutes. You can see that there's there's that onion juice. And just to make sure you can't get a little more out, just kind of squeeze this through. Okay. All right. We want that fairly dried out. All right. Back into the food processor. got a pound of ground beef here and this is a uh, roughly an 80 20 and I'm gonna throw that on in here all right I've also got three whole pieces of bacon uh, that I've just diced up three three whole strips all right in here I've got um, half a tablespoon of cumin got a half a tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of fresh crushed garlic, I've got uh, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half, uh, half a teaspoon of um, uh, thyme. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, um, you can use regular vegetable oil, uh, but really the olive oil adds some nice flavor. So all in there, and now I'm going to start to blend this out until it looks kind of like a meat paste. I'll show you when I get done. You don't need to hear it. It's going to be loud. I'll be back. Okay, so let's take a look at it now. Looks a little bit like potted meat, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's got a super smooth, fine texture. And that's exactly what you want. Now this is, I know it's the same bowl I had the onion juice in, but I, uh, I've cleaned it out and dried it since then. Okay. Now normally this is when you would put this into a baking pan, like a, uh, uh, I don't know, like a bread pan or something and bake it and then let it sit in the fridge to cool and that's pretty and then you would slice it up and make your euros from that point well this is a slightly different technique so this is just going to sit in the bowl overnight 
So, uh, you can see what it is. I'm going to wrap it up, stick it in the fridge, and we'll be back in the morning. It'll be just a second for you. Now it's time to make the nan, or the bread, part for this gyro. I've got a couple of cups of flour, two and a half. I've got, uh, uh, here's like two-thirds of a cup of water. Actually, I'm going to dump in a little bit of yeast, about a teaspoon. Get that all out of there. Um, and a little pinch of salt, a little bit of um, sugar. Like to, likes to stick in there, I guess. Got a quarter cup of yogurt, four tablespoons, otherwise known as. Okay, put that in there. And I got two thirds a cup of nice warm water. Bam! We're gonna make our nan. So I'm gonna let get this uh, mixed up, and then I'll be right back. Also got a tablespoon. Okie doke. Okie doke. So this um, bread is, is mixed. Let's take a look at that. It's, it's real soft. It's, it doesn't. It's not sticky. That's just right. So we're gonna let that raise, and um, I'm gonna give it covered and. Then we're going to start the tzatziki sauce. Ooh, yum! I've got everything ready to put this tzatziki together. Um, there's a bowl, Mrs. Old Guy, come on in. Um, I've got some Greek yogurt here and I've, I've drained it out for a few hours and I got that extra liquid. I just used a colander. Okay, so I've got about two and a quarter cups. Maybe just a little bit more, but it's right around there, right to the corner of uh, unflavored Greek yogurt. We're just going to try and get all of this out I can. Waste not, want more when it comes to tzatziki. <laughs> Waste not, want more. All right. So, got that in there. I've got two cloves of garlic, and you want to make sure that you use crushed or something like that. You don't want to use diced. It's just you don't want that chunk of uh, garlic in the tzatziki. It's not going to be a pleasant thing to bite into it. I've got uh, a quarter cup of olive oil. Okay. And I got some uh, fresh mint uh, from our yard. Uh, for me, the mint is really what makes it. We're going to want, want a couple of tablespoons of finely diced mint. So let me pluck some of these leaves off here. Oh man, just the smell of pulling them off the, the stem. One neat thing about mint, uh, if you have some in your yard, uh, one, it helps keep spiders away, and two, uh, it, it, it kind of spreads, just like uh, uh, like some different types of flowers. Okay, so there's our mint. We're going to give this a quick shot. I should do this in a little of dish first. Perhaps I will with the other half. Okay, so I'll set the other half aside for right now. There's our cucumber. 
Um, this was a really big one, so I just used about two thirds of it. You want to clean the seeds out, and just do that. Just take a spoon and scrape them out. Okay. Now, a lot of directions will tell you to um, like run this through a grater or even a, a food processor. I like to just hand dice it. It takes a little extra time, but I like the texture better. And um, we're still going to have to drain a little bit of the liquid. So I'm going to start dicing this up. Mrs. Old Guy will kind of cut out here, and uh, I'll be back when this pile is diced up where it needs to be. Big old truck going by. Okay, so you can see I've got that pretty finely grated. It's only taken a couple of minutes. It's worth it's worth it to take the time to do it this way. I prefer the texture doing it this way as opposed to what you would get running it through a food processor or grating it on a, on a grater. Okay, and like the yogurt, and like we did with the onion uh, when we made the meat, want to give it time to drain a little bit. Throw this in there. It's going to press it out. Dry it out a little bit. Don't need all the moisture. And cucumbers got a lot of water in it. Push that through. You don't have to use your hands, of course. Use a spatula like uh, like this one right here. Squeeze it out. Okay. This little guy, see? Squeeze out that liquid as much as you can. If you do this, the texture not only, the texture will be better, um, not only cucumber wise, but all that extra moisture in there uh, can give your tzatziki kind of a strange texture. So getting this, this veggie kind of dry definitely help with that. Alright, that's pretty good. Throw that in. Now I got my last half of lemon. Like I said, I'm going to do that in the dish. A lot of times, uh, the little fins here will catch the seeds, but for some reason, it's just not, do it's just not doing it this time. It's all right, so I'm going to fish out these couple of seeds here. Come here. All right. Add that in. Now we're going to give it all a good stir. pinch of salt here, and that's about all it was really, is a pinch. That is it, except you're going to want to let it sit for a little while and give those uh, flavors a chance to come together. So I'm going to wrap it with plastic wrap and it's going to sit in the fridge uh, until I'm ready to uh, serve up. So I'll be back. Uh, so it sat for just a little while, and um, I didn't cover it, I gave it a little taste. I thought I could use a little bit of sugar, so I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons. Alright, I don't want to leave nothing out on you, so I'll be back. 
Okay, it has been long enough for this to uh, double or so. Come on in, this is okay. It smells really good. Okay, now we're going to roll this out. Divide this up and roll this out into some individual man. Now, depending on how how big you like it, obviously it's going to matter how many of these, how many man you're going to make out of this. Because it will make quite a few. So I'm just going to cut this in half. about an inch or so thick, maybe a little more. You got a nice rope like that. Now, cut this, try and cut this even, even pieces, half and half. Okay, so we're gonna go four. Each one of these are going to get cut in half. Alright. So I'm going to roll these out. I'll do this first one and then I'll come back when I'm done with the rest. You just want, you just want a circle. One 
scoop on here. Let me try and keep that about equal all the way around. All right. I figure it's going to take two, maybe three scoops per dam to make a sandwich. And so, whoop, I'm just going to keep right on doing this uh, until I get them all made up. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there we are, all skewered up and ready to go. So I'll meet you outside at the grill. So I'm going to just start layering these kebabs on. Mmm, they smell great already. We'll see you when they're done. Alright, these are done. And they look fantastic. And they smell even better. So, we'll see you inside. Now the fun part, we get to eat. <laughs> or at least uh, Mrs. Olga and I do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, if you're having guests and so forth, just put everything out. Um, a, couple of, a couple of meatballs per sandwich or uh, year old balls, I suppose. <laughs> Mrs. Olga, come on down. So, there's our uh, Piece of our nan. Okay, pull these off. And heck, let's let's kind of break them apart a little bit. Go like that. It's plenty of meat. And uh, there's our tzatziki. Still thick, creamy. Throw that on here. Don't want to skimp. Yeah, on the tzatziki, I sure don't. <laughs> right? Some red onion. A little bit of shredded lettuce. A couple little wedges of tomato. And I'm going in for the diet. My tongue is doing a happy dance. <laughs> yeah. That is so, so good. The meat being just freshly grilled like that, getting that little bit of fresh char, uh, along with the, the tzatziki and everything else I'm telling you. This is one tasty, tasty year. <laughs> if you need um, you can email me, uh, oldguyincolorado at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to send you my, uh, the full recipe. And I appreciate you watching. I really do. As y'all wouldn't be uh, here doing this. So I uh, thank you. I'll see you next time. <laughs>